I'm pretty sure your friend has a mouth. And quite frankly, I'm trying to figure out what it does now. Go back to slap boxing that scout with them tight ass braids pulling your thoughts to the back of your cerebral cortex and smack it on them fuego hot takis before I smack the Mario coins out your ass. <laughs> Boy, what the f you just say to me? Yeah, yeah. Ah, high school. Basically a solitary confinement for students to learn life lessons that we will never use in life. I mean, who's actually used Pythagorean's theorem in their real life? I mean, I'll give you a second. Exactly, no one. Unless you're an architect or maybe you're in construction. <sighs> yeah, if you ask me anything that I remember from high school, I won't remember a day thing at all back when i went to high school it was filled with nothing but npcs bots and straight up menaces these are the type of people in high school it might have changed a little bit since i've been but the same cheat code still applies the first one is the loud girl now everyone knows this type of girl in school the notorious weave pattern hot cheeto finger having at seven in the morning ass yelling best friend in the middle of the hallway drinking mountain dew every time you see them demon we all know and loathe these type of people in school i mean she's always late to class and she's usually the best friend to the fire shorty that you're trying to riz up and get her number maybe her instagram maybe her snap as soon as you walk up to her she's like uh -uh, mm -mm. she's not interested oh oh that's funny because i'm not interested either interested in spending these last 30 seconds before the bell rings conversing with your hot pickle hot flaming boiled egg eating egg. Mm. i'm pretty sure your friend has a mouth and quite frankly i'm trying to figure out what it does now go back to slap boxing that scout with them tight ass braids pulling your thoughts to the back of your cerebral cortex and smack it on them fuego hot takis before i smack the mario coins out your ass <laughs> boy what the f you just say to me these girls are usually ones that you would like to avoid because no matter how much you go back and forth with them you're not winning you might as well just walk away and take the L. okay next you have the school thugs now these these people come in all shapes and sizes different forms you can catch them puffing on the magic clouds before school you might even catch them at lunch in the bathroom shooting dice or slap boxing you might not catch them in school at all because they spend three-fourths of the week running the streets you feel me bending corners doing misses and i ain't talking about grand theft auto people fail to realize the difference between a hood and a street the hood niggas are usually you know they're what they're called usually they have a good head on their shoulders smarter than they get credit for they're prejudged underestimated they're probably born in a bad situation or a bad environment literally the quote product of my environment sometimes they're just trying to make it out now a street nigga they're usually in the streets they might even be your neighborhood plug now a lot of the street niggas i've met aren't intellectual at all they have a great personality an amazing person well not amazing but they have a decent personality but not a brain cell in their head now if this don't apply to you don't hit me up all mad and because shit, shit ain't sweet anyway usually the school thugs always got a baddie by their side maybe one of the baddest if not the baddest in high school they always had the freshest g fazos jordans air max whatever that was trending around the time probably a few tattoos maybe a neck tat you know everybody was usually cool with them they might have played sports it really just all depends like i said they come in various shapes and sizes a lot of them usually peaked in high school though so if you ask them what they're doing now probably reliving the glory days that they once had in high school probably need to let that that shit go next you had the class clown see now i kind of fell into this category some days i would flush you some days i'd be in class cracking a little jokey joke some days i actually chilled and did my schoolwork. it all depend on how i was feeling but i can tell you this some of these class clowns don't know when to stop and they take the jokes too far now me personally i've never gave a teacher ptsd or scarred them for the rest of their life but there was this student teacher now if you don't know what a student teacher is basically they are usually like a person in training they're kind of like an intern they're around for about four to six months to help around the class they might teach a lesson here or there and if they actually have the cojones to get it done they might actually teach the class or substitute anyway one day <sighs> she was pissing me off the student teacher we had i had to have been in the eighth grade and i was already pissed off probably having a bad day so i wasn't really talking to anybody and she kept 
nitpicking with me literally kept saying little smart comments to me saying slick shit. and she had said something to me that had finally got to me because the crazy thing was i wasn't saying anything to her at all and she had finally said something and i was like you know what i don't know if it's that time of the month for you or what but i haven't said a word to you and you still ain't shut your ass up seems like you got too much estrogen going on in your system because you won't stop it i mean like i'm one of your 12 feline fur buddies you got at the crib please shut your ass up i got a fat ass headache and your coffee breath is low key matter of fact high key compromising the airways to my nostrils you done damn near cinched off all my nose hairs and the whole room went quiet now i didn't care i was basically just waiting for her to send me to the hallway send me to the principal's office call my mom but she didn't do not one of those things she sat her ass down and she ain't talked to me for the rest of of the period matter of fact even the teacher the actual teacher of the class because she was substituting that day she didn't say a thing to me either actually she didn't say another word to me for the rest of the school year so i guess i did my due diligence to class all in all class clowns can be annoying but you say the wrong thing to them and they might turn their crosshairs on you and start frying your ass next we have the fake popular girl now these girls might be the same as a loud girl in school it all depends she's not up there with the elite popular girl but she's popular by association popular adjacent if you will she might have been best friends with the popular girl since they were kids so she probably brought her along to the top with her she was definitely not the best looker in the group but she wasn't ugly either so she was about a solid seven maybe a eight on a great day but she hyped herself up way more than she needed to she let the clout get to that noggin of hers because once they graduate yeah none of that shit don't matter and for some reason she was always the asshole of the group not too much to really say about her next you have the school thought ah the school thought every school has one maybe two maybe each grade of the school has one these girls are usually popular too but trust me it's not for the same reason usually you'll catch this village vixen the neighborhood winch if i may giving up the loosey goosey giraffe neck supreme combo deluxe in the bathroom on a staircase Hell, they might even be giving it up in the back of the classroom while the teacher is giving out the take-home assignment if they're bold enough these are the type of girls that everybody on the football team basketball team baseball team lacrosse track and field wrestling golf well maybe not the golf team but hey who knows they might be giving her that hole in one basically this girl girl is giving it up to anybody with legs and a future in sports and you might not even need that well you might not need a future in sports obviously you'll need legs but eh, you never know with these girls they really don't give a You'll probably catch this girl promoting her premium Snapchat the day after graduation. But if she's anything like Bad Baby, you gonna see that premium Snapchat as soon as she walks across the stage to collect her diploma. And we all know how she got that diploma. We all know. And that's how it starts. Then a few months later, you see a link tree in her bio and she's posting Ta Ta Tuesdays and $3 Fridays all over Twitter. But there's no point because everybody in that school already knows what she looks like. Last but not least, the sporty girl now this girl is actually popular her hair is usually in a ponytail nike headband roshis harachis oh my god roshis and harachis back when times were simple <sighs> man i remember i had like two pair of roshis i wasn't really big into harachis because i never got into them plus i heard too many bad things about them they hurt my feet blase blah, blah so i never really got into harachis anyway some days she'd wear those she wear the moccasins the sperrys or even toms i hate toms with a passion anybody who knows me knows i hate toms i literally stopped talking to this girl because she said toms were literally all she wore she had a pair of black toms red toms green toms blue yellow orange polka dot aubergine indigo she probably had every single color of the rainbow of toms and i literally had to cut her off i packed her up real quick but i mean those were back in my days as a jit knuckle-headed arrogant aggressive so pretty much the same way i am today anyways usually the sporty girl were at the top of the popularity pyramid she usually has straight a's honors ap classes some sort of beverage from starbucks whether it be a peppermint mocha frappe or i don't know caramel crunch venti whatever i don't know i don't know 
something, some sort of drink from Starbucks. She was probably a number one fan of Chipotle or a Chick-fil-A. She never ate school lunches. Of course, the popular student would never eat the school slop that they served in the cafeteria. She would definitely be eating something of much higher status. She would never eat with us peasants. She was always in the teacher's lounge. Crazy thing is, I actually had a key to the teacher's lounge. I mean, you get in good with one of the, you know, one of the teachers and boom, you just chilling. Feel me? They had the vending machine. They had snacks in the refrigerator. And I'll tell you, I ate, sw I ate one of those teacher's lunches and I did not give a f at all. Waking up for high school was a drag, literally. Matter of fact, high school in general was just complete Whoever came up with the whole concept of going to school eight hours a day just for nothing to happen, they need the electric fucking chair. I mean, they probably not alive at this point, but now whoever came up with leggings or those yoga pants that girls be wearing, yeah! they need the uh giraffe neck, loosey goosey, sloppy uh deluxe combo for sure. Those are heaven sent like i swear them pants will have a girl making them feel like they cardi b Nicki minaj anybody with that don't literally man i'm pretty sure a girl with a flat ass booty mm -hmm. put some levi's on it's over but if she wears some of them leggings oh that girl gonna be feeling like she ice spice you thought i was feeling you then you got much eat it for baby he ever like but somebody i get what i want like anyway sometimes going to school literally will ruin your whole week and you couldn't wait till the weekend but there were also those one people the gang they low-key had you looking forward to going to school so i'm gonna be telling you about the different types of friend groups in high school i mean technically they literally they apply to every group of friends but apparently the youtube algorithm kind of likes the high school situation right now i done seen like 10 20 30 videos of types of kids in high school literally and i'm not gonna lie whoever jumps on that right now you are i can't even get mad because i literally did the same thing and it's literally making my channel go up as we speak anyway these are the types of friends in the friend group first one the leader of the group usually these are the glue of the group or usually they're the face of the group usually i put how many times did i fucking write usually down now <clears throat> usually these are the <laughs> man the leader of the group is the face of the group anybody who's associated with that person they're gonna be like oh you're so and so's friend or you're in a so and so's friend group or you're in so and so's circle like damn, bitch, i got a fucking name you know my fucking name and you talking about oh you were some color friend no bitch Next, you have the big dude. Now, this is the category I kind of fall into. Every group literally has a big dude. Now, they're either big as in fat and bacon sweat dripping from their high fructose corn syrup filled neck fat and titty meat, or they're the buff dude. Now, I fall more into the buff category, Cow. especially since I've been working out and, you know, being consistent with exercising because by the time it's summertime, I need to be looking good for the pool. You feel me? I can't be jumping into the pool if my titties flopping around down there hitting somebody's kid in their head, all right? Every time they getting flushed, they either say, you're overly strong ass, or you built like a gorilla or bulldog. Like, damn, bro, gorilla or bulldog is crazy on Black History Month. They're usually naturally aggressive or more aggressive due to the high testosterone levels, but they always are on go whenever some pops off. Go to the street, Not bro. Exciting. I will beat your motherfucking ass, huh? Next, you got the nonchalant friend. When I tell you they don't give a f man, the house could be on fire the house could be on literal fire and they wouldn't give two shits about it hey bro you do know you're on fire right uh, yeah, okay. right. Nick, what the f is wrong with you talking about you're gonna be all right you are on actual f fire Chill. Bro, I'm trying to tell you I will be okay like you just look at this man like they don't give a f about shit. They're always calm and laid back, and you know if they get mad, something is definitely a problem. Like, you always peep how it's always the quiet ones. The quiet ones are the actual threat. Like, yeah, you got the big dude or the high head or whatever, but the quiet one is the one you have to watch out for because those are usually the mass murderers on the low. Their facial expression never shows what they're thinking, so you basically rolling the dice on what this motherfucker finna do. Next, you have the high head. Now, this one is an obvious threat. This nigga be ready to fight any and everybody. Like, if they say bless you after you sneeze and you don't say thank you, in their mind, that is a personal invitation into challenging you into a Shaolin showdown. Bless you. Hey, bitch, you ain't hear me say bless you? I'm about to open a can of whoop that little candy. Hey, chill, bro. She had on her headphones. Nah, that bitch. She heard me say bless you. Now I was just about to... 
<laughs> what the f hey they are a literal walking ticking time bomb with a short fuse tread carefully around them now the next person you have is the delinquent usually this is the kid that your mom does not want you chilling with at all you low-key got to keep your distance because they're liable to finesse or pocket anything in the vicinity of value or of no value at all sometimes they get into sh just because they're bored hey man y'all trying to go play ding god ditch no nah, i got a better idea let's go find some wet dog and put it into a paper <laughs> what <laughs> hey bro i'm just literally looking at the sh that i wrote down <laughs> i'm like why the did I write this? All right, here we go. Hey, y'all, y'all trying to play ding dong, bitch? Nah, I got a better idea. Let's go find some wet talk. <laughs> All right, I'm for real, I'm for real, I'm for real. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all trying to play ding dong, bitch? Nah, I got a better idea. Let's go find some wet dog and put it in a paper bag and set that bitch on fire and throw it into somebody's window. What's wrong with you? This man is a school threat this man should be voted most likely to wind up in a penitentiary or on the news for robbing old people of cough drops and they ride on scooters and selling them for bro, what the f did i write down and they ride on scooters <laughs> and selling them to crackheads for 15.49 each plus tax anyway the next person you got is mr res god himself aka the twizzler rizzler this man can pull any girl he wants no problem no hesitation we could all be walking into an event or a party and before we even walk all the way through the door this already walking out with a baddie next to him with a smirk on his face okay look here you <laughs> bro what the f okay look here you light-skinned pretty ricky looking motherfucker. i'm tired of you taking all the <laughs> I'm tired of you taking all the bitches. And all we left with are these Shrek and Fiona Moto Moto hippopotamus from Madagascar looking ostriches. Damn. Save some of the bitches for us. He never has a game plan on getting them. He just bags them and tag them. Last but not least, we have the homebody. Never ask this man to go anywhere because he is not going at all. Either he chilling with a shorty or he on the game. He always coming up with an excuse when it's time to chill or... or Anytime it's time to link up with the group, he never answers his phone because it stays on do not disturb. Why the f*** this sound like me? When the plans get canceled, he's low-key jumping for joy because he wasn't trying to go anyway. You usually see them every once in a few months, but they're still a core part of the group. So, we've spoke on the different types of kids in school. Yeah. We've even talked about the types of clothes that the students wore in high school. Yeah. But we can't forget another key component that factored into how your school year was going to go. You got many different archetypes and builds, so we're going to just jump right into it and discuss the different types of teachers in high school. The first one we'll discuss are the gym teachers now you already know the irony when it comes to gym teachers how are y'all qualified to even teach gym when y'all look like y'all haven't been to one since prehistoric times the last time this man picked up a weight was when michael jackson was charting billboard gym teachers don't run or lift or anything the only thing that they be lifting are crispy cream jelly filled donuts into that black hole you call a mouth why a black hole because what do black holes and gym teachers have in common they eat everything and then they put us through head because when you walk into class, he will ruin your day with four words. Fitness Gram Pacer Test. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi- Man, I did the Pacer Test before in June. And you know what I told him? I said, fail me. I'm not doing that test. Nah, that test right there, that was dead. He was like, I made a promise to the principal and myself that I would whip you guys whip. Okay, that's a fine choice of words. I made a promise I would whip you guys into shape. Who do you think you are? My I am not young Midoriya. This is not my hero academia, and you need to stop making promises you can't keep. Promise to whip us into shape. I would say you need to worry about whooping yourself into shape, but it looked like you already beat us to the punch. <laughs> you are in shape. A very round shape. The shape of a sphere. The shape of a sack of potatoes. The shape of bubble baths off a of SpongeBob. The shape of a McDonald's Big Mac with a large fry. The shape of a 16 gallon glad heavy duty trash bag. The shape of an extra large Tide detergent bottle. The shape of Mount Everest. The shape of the whole northern hemisphere on Earth. The shape of the. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We get the picture. <sighs> okay, okay. Gym teacher so lazy in fact they couldn't even fit in the picture. You get a two out of ten, but quit your job. Next on our list, we have that old lady teacher. Everyone had that one old lady that every student in school hated. Skin wrinkly, always had a scowl on their face. You know, the proof that dinosaurs once roamed the earth. Now, where have I heard that before? 
This teacher was the most strict, annoying, nagging, stress-inducing person on the entire face of earth, which she was definitely around for when God created it. I don't understand why people this old even still teach. Shouldn't you be retired somewhere on the beach, enjoying the rest of your life and the little bit you have left of it? You know, living it up, sipping pina coladas, traveling out the country, picking out flowers for your casket. <coughs> you can go all day and no teacher will give you any type of homework. And then when you think you're good and the rest of the day is clear, you get to Miss Rosa Parks childhood best friends class and you have homework and an extra assignment on top of that i used to wish my teacher would break a hip tripping over those melons she drug around every day on the floor behind her zero out of ten just retire already the next type of teacher we have is the one that didn't care one of my personal favorite types of teachers you walk into class and the assignment was already on the board you got to sit wherever you wanted kick it with the gang they always passed you even if you didn't deserve it gave out the easiest extra credit dude would ask you what one plus one is and boom 200 points for extra credit for no reason never really taught anything in fact i don't even know how this man was even still employed because the whole room could be on fire and he still wouldn't care as long as we didn't get her to break anything these types probably were detrimental to the school system seeing as they really didn't do anything but at the time i probably didn't care because it wasn't my job to teach so seven out of ten can't give you a ten out of ten because you didn't do your job stupid next up you have your favorite teacher like your literal favorite teacher throughout the 12 years of high school there was that one teacher that cared about your well-being cared about you passing sometimes you can go to them with your problems and issues and they would actually listen you were amongst the very few of their favorite students they might even bring you a snack or food to class if they saw your grades slipping or you acting out they butt heads with you because they actually were concerned about your future we actually need more teachers like this i used to walk to school since it was was six or seven minutes away but one day it was freezing outside snowing too and the teacher that was on their way to school they had seen me walking and ended up giving me a ride to school now i don't know if the teachers were actually allowed to do that but i wasn't turning down a free ride to school and it was freezing outside 10 out of 10 probably the best one on the list now we have the um uh let's just say this teacher probably helped out some students with extracurricular activities i'm not gonna speak too much about them because i don't want youtube to demonetize me because they don't play about that these teachers dress like they were those one stereotypical librarian white button down collar shirts showing off their assets black skirt red bottom stilettos glasses hair in a bun where did the stigma even stem from because i ain't never seen a librarian that looked like that all the ones i've seen were old and five days away from being creamy I, I mean soil for the i mean <laughs> i gotta stop with these jokes you walk into her class after school for some help and there's a dryer in the middle of the classroom hey miss rachel i'm here for tutoring oh hey timmy could you give me a hand um miss rachel why is there a dryer in the classroom uh don't don't worry about that it, it seems that i've gotten stuck in this dryer can you uh can you help me out now where have i seen this before wait uh miss rachel i thought you were gonna help me with my grades if you come help me then we can talk about a little extra credit uh i'm fine with extra she gets a 50 out of 10 for sure the last teachers we have are the mentally unstable ones one minute she's happy the next minute they're angry and yelling at the class the minute after that she's crying because her boyfriend broke up with her and left her and her 14 cats to be with the store manager of chuck e cheese is is that even still a thing like are, are they still open you never knew which version of the teacher would show up that day like who gave this woman a job she kind of reminded me of that teacher from iCarly real watched iCarly Spencer broke up with her because she was crazy and ended up giving the whole class extra work because she was lonely and miserable yeah negative 12 out of 10 get you a therapist and leave the school now y'all enjoyed the first part so much i had to come back and make a remix of this so let's not even waste no more time and jump straight into it the first person on this list we have is the bully i hate these people they're so arrogant they don't even have a reason to be arrogant usually these motherfuckers look like they have kids that should be studying for the same test they take on friday usually the bullies they bully people smaller and weaker than them which is lame if you ask me you'll never catch them on a football field because you already know what's gonna happen they gonna get ran over look i get it your life hard your dad don't love you and your mom's is getting bent over by the mad teacher mr lewis damn he turning mom into a 90 degree angle oh my god that math teacher's pelvic bone is perpendicular to your mom's derriere 
here, my there's about to be an addition to your family. You about to have a little brother. I got an equation for you, matter of fact. Your math teacher plus your mom times nine months equals what? A younger sibling. You know what's missing from that formula? You, you, you not even a bully. You identify as the lamest quadrilateral in history. You know what that shape is? A square. You a square ass, lame ass, jive turkey ass, bitch ass, nigga. I sound like state meaner. <laughs> Yo, bro, did you just hear what he just said, man? He just hit him with some real mathematical math equation. He just called this man a square and math terminology. Man, I ain't never heard no crazy stuff like that before. How you do that right there, man? Next, you have the teacher's pet. Yeah! Now, this motherfucker right here might as well be a Krispy Kreme donut the way he be glazing. Five-time national Oscar Meyer hot dog eating champ. Oh, see, I wrote this down way before the last video I used this punchline in. Oh, well, I guess it's gonna be a recycled joke. Man, the way they be gobbling the teacher's glizzy. Oh, Mrs. Rhinestone, is that a new scent you're wearing? Ah, smells like lavender vanilla. Hey, man, shut your you already know that they bring up the homework assignment when the teacher forgets about it and don't even think about trying to cheat off their test because uh, as soon as you look over uh mrs rhinestone mrs rhinestone he's trying to cheat off my test oh my god bro. Oh, hell, man. oh you gonna snitch on me bet meet me after school why am i meeting you after school you know i'm a beach old right next is the quiet kid now this man can range from either an npc listening to that metal in the back of the class or the motherfucker that's carrying that metal in the back of his bag <clears throat> hey you you mind holding this yeah man no problem hey uh bro what, what's your name you don't talk much kyle what's up kyle my name's mally uh you want a pack of skittles the vending machine accidentally gave me two. Oh, sure thanks hey Kyle, this Jan sport is kind of heavy. Uh, what you got going on in this bag? If I was you, I'd leave school before fourth period. What's going on in fourth? Ah, uh, oh, you ain't gotta tell me twice. Good looking out. At this point, I'm up out of there quicker than the road runner running from Wiley Coyote. I don't care if my mom cusses me out for anything. I would take a belt over a bullet any day. Boy, you at home kind of early. You over here skipping class? Nah, but uh, it's about to be a few students skipping graduation. You gonna skip their ass? Right up the escalator to see God. Oh, <laughs> you need to leave. <laughs> what made me write this down? <laughs> Don't take that joke too seriously either. Uh, ne <laughs> Next on the list we have are the beggars. These people blow me for sure. I always ask you for some, whether it's gum, a pencil, some of your snacks. Like these people come to school completely unprepared. No backpack or nothing. Like what you even come to school for? This is the person that will beg for a dollar at lunch, but then calls you broke. <laughs> Nani? Like, how you gonna call me broke but then have the nerve to ask me for some bread? And the next person we have on the list is the nerd. This one right here, yeah, that's the person you're going to be slaving your life away at a nine to five for. They seem weird now. I'm pretty sure they thought Elon Musk was weird. They probably thought Bill Gates was weird. They even probably thought Mark Zuckerberg was weird. Nah, that actually is weird. Mr. Zuckerberg. Do you like my hair? Need higher hair. Higher hair, please. Higher. Really? Need higher hair. Like, is Mark Zuckerberg even a real person or is he an AI the government has been working on for years? He might be an alien operating on a robot body. But uh, the nerds I used to go to school with, typical snot nose, word slurring, dungeon and dragon playing geniuses. And I'm not one to get into stereotypes, but I guess they have them for a reason because now that i think about it they fit those stereotypes to a t i used to go to school with this kid and his nose used to be riddled with boogers and snot and one day i'm in gym class and uh he kept wiping his nose on his shirt and i kept looking at him and then out of nowhere this man put his finger over one nostril and just blew the fattest nastiest most snot filled booger shot up out of his nose it literally shot from one end of the gym to the other side i promise you i'm not lying i'm lying like a and he got excited and yelled out snot rocket like it was an achievement he was like yes snot rocket yeah that that little was nasty as f 
And the last one we have is the Anime Kid. Now, the Anime Kid is just like a nerd, but on steroids. And the thing about Anime Kids is that there's always more than one. See, back in the day before everyone in their entire family was on the anime bandwagon, back when I actually enjoyed being into anime, I mean, don't get me wrong, I definitely still rock with it. But see me, I like being different and standing out, not really following the crowd. So anyway, back then, you were pretty much an outcast if you even admitted to watch anime. You got made fun of, called weird, and pretty much looked at as someone who might not be mentally stable. You might catch them Naruto running down the hall with their clan, maybe even charging up and doing backflips off the wall, but uh, don't pick a fight with them because trust me, one of them is trained in some sort of martial arts and they will beat your and trap you in a genjutsu. <sighs> drip now urban dictionary defines this word as an adjective to describe your outfit similar to swag sauce steez or swank what i don't know who put that last word down because anybody of african-american descent has never used that word in their vernacular ever in the history of time at all your outfit aka drip literally made or broke your high school year well i mean that is until it was tax season but these days it don't seem like people care that much about reps now when i was in school when I was in school, I sound old. When I was in school, you was getting your ass fired up if your Jordan logo was doing anything other than that signature jump man dunk on his shoe. Jordan never did that move. I've been seeing some of the wildest outfits in school. We'll be discussing the different types of outfits and I'll be rating and grading the outfits I've seen in high school. Now, first we have the pajama wears. Now, I don't wear PJs whatsoever. I'm sleeping in the under rules and if I'm too tired, I might be sleeping with the beater on. But y'all be hopping straight out of bed, no breath brushing your teeth, no shower, nothing. Y'all get out of bed, toss on them nasty Nike slides that's being held together by a piece of juicy fruit gum and some floss you saw on the floor in the McDonald's bathroom stall. You can see the pit stains underneath their arms from the night sweats and that one sock has a hole in it revealing that disgusting fungus filled claw you call a toenail. And your pajama bottoms are fading from being thrown in the washer too many times. That's literally the only thing they'll wear. They want to be Spongebob so bad. Now it's a difference if you take a shower and put on a fresh t-shirt and some clean pajama pants compared to you rolling out of bed and getting straight on the bus now the whole school gotta be decontaminated because you got the hallway smelling like swollen camel kneecaps yeah you get a f buddy next on our list is the hype beast now these people came to school rocking new designer fresh off of an african's dry ashy hands straight out of your local flea market because i know for a fact all that designer that they was rocking was not official they would try their absolute hardest to try to prove to me that everything that they were wearing was real. Little did they know, I don't give up. They were coming to school trying to impress everybody, dressing up to bag your main and your side chick. Now, they had on a pair of new kicks every day, but not all of them were rocking the fake shoes. They just actually had parents that loved them. But I'm not gonna hate, some of them actually did put that shit on. He got that Oh, no. But to be honest, no one really cared what you wore if you ain't have no status in high school anyway. So we gonna give them a, a B tier rank. Nice. Next, you had the country boys. Now these dudes, these dudes had the cowboy boots or sometimes they would even wear the steel toe boots looking like they was getting ready to go to work in the coal mines right after high school. Now they would have the full cowboy fit going on and for some of them, they would go as far as to wearing a cowboy hat and the teachers wouldn't say sh to them but as soon as i put my hood up it's a whole issue and the whole school gets put on lockdown mode because me putting my hood up on a bad hair day puts us at a threat level cold red Do y'all not see the color of my skin? Y'all acting like I got some in my backpack. Man, they over here acting like I'm a school shoe. The country boys always had on some sort of camo or shirts with a hunter print on there. I don't know. But they always had either grass stains on their shoes or grass stains on their pants. And it was always around the knee area. Like, how are you dirty already in this first period? It's like before you got to school, you were out there hunting gazelles and zebras. He in study hall trying to make deer jerky in the middle of class. Yeah, but y'all getting the F for that fit is trash. Mm. No, you're f 
place trash next on the list we have the athletes now not too much complexity when it comes to the athlete fits because they're usually wearing some sort of basketball shorts or sweatpants maybe joggers at times either they have on a hoodie sweatshirt or compression shirts they wore some sort of nike shoe or under armor maybe i i don't know it really just varies but they were usually dressing up to be comfortable they didn't dress bummy but they didn't really care what they had on it was usually some casual so we'll give them a c not bad for real all right now next we have the preppy fit the people that usually dress like uh jake from state farm khakis polos sperry's and things, things of that, that nature they always had on a bright colored ralph lauren polo for some unknown reason they'd be rocking a pink polo or a baby blue or something like that i don't know whatever tickles their fancy some of them wore their collar up and had glasses on the top of their head like they were on disney channel or something like this is not teen beach movie bro they came off how they dressed pretty snobbish you had that few that were cool and everything so i'll give him a pass we'll we'll give chad the d hey yo what the fuck? <clears throat> we'll give chad a d Try. next we have the casuals now they'd usually have on a fresh tee and put some pants on that were clean nice cool pair of kicks and they were straight they didn't try too hard to look the best in school because they wanted to be comfortable kind of like the athletes but they actually put a little bit more effort into it they throw some accessories on and they'd be good to go sometimes they toss on a hoodie a laid back fit was all you really need because sometimes simplicity is key so this right here is the s tier fit but last but not least we have the golf girls nowadays they're really called alt girls basically these were the e-girls before e-girls were a thing and 99.9 percent .9 of the time they were rocking all black except for that rare occasion where they want to switch it up so they put on some super dark gray isn't that just black they they put on some super dark gray. they'd either put on some long striped socks or they might even wear some fishnets they wore combat boots or the black chuck taylors you know they had on chokers that would be on their necks so tight you would start to question if they had auto erotic as fixed they wore black makeup had the different color hair but some of them was actually bad they had that black fingernail polish on and they didn't smell like the kids that wore pajamas so that was already a win in my column we'll give them an a ha <laughs> yeah start setting them alarm clocks to 6 30 a.m start getting that sleep adjusted from two hours during summer vacation to two and a half hours during the school year because i already know y'all barely sleep as it is see i already know y'all parents be happy and mad at the same time they happy because y'all finally finna get up out they here and finally finna get out the house but they finna be pissed off because they gotta spend hella bread just for some school supplies that the students don't even need i feel like those teachers be making those lists for themselves um, Rachel, you sure y'all need everything on this list? Yes, mom. Everything is an essential. So what up? Does it say I need to get a Keurig coffee maker for $129? Yeah, those days of being outside all day, running around, playing with your friends till the street lights come on is raps. <laughs> Actually, man, who am I kidding? Y'all niggas don't do that anymore. All y'all do is sit in y'all room, play Fortnite. I say right foot creep, boom, walking with an eagle. Eating hot flaming funions while y'all room smell like hot flaming bunions. Ew! This guy stinks! Watch Twitch streams and... Yeah, the first day of school is gonna establish how the rest of your year go. Make sure you look straight though, cause you know your peoples will be taking pictures and posting them all over Facebook. Y'all know y'all do what every kid do on the night before school. Y'all go ahead, set y'all clothes out, fresh kicks, spit shine to pristine condition, barely able to sleep cause y'all know y'all finna stun on everybody as soon as y'all walk in there. So I'm gonna give you a rundown on the different types of kids you gonna end up running into on your first day of school. First, you got the freshmen. Everybody might not be a freshman. Y'all might be going to middle school for the first time. So basically still applies. These kids are the ones that walk around lost as they don't know where none of the classes are they can't get into their locker and they end up in the wrong classroom don't even tweak out over it though because it happens to the best of us plus the teacher be cool with it for the first couple of weeks but if you don't know where your classes are after being there a month and a half yeah you probably belong in the class with three letters with the kids that got off the bus that's a little shorter than the rest of y'all school buses i'm kidding i'm kidding with your slow way. next we got the hype beast these the dudes that go all out on the very first day got on designer everything looking like he's straight out the flea market everything he got on is caught fresh off of those africans dry ashy hands i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> 
with your ass shit. Damn. Dude made sure he was the freshest kid in school, but he don't even look like he belong at school. He better off being a guest feature in the money bag yo video. But I can promise you after that first week of school, his drip gonna go down below 60%. He wore his best at the beginning of the school year just to become a bum after the first few days. After that, you got the kid who don't come prepared. They literally come to class with nothing but themselves and well themselves they didn't even bring their schedules they took one look at the school supply list and yeeted that sh straight into the garbage can yeah this is school not church it ain't come as you are what was your point of even pulling up to school and you don't even got your school supplies no pen no paper no backpack nothing oh and trust me this ain't a one-time thing they not gonna have school supplies near the whole year they gonna ask for a pencil in every class and still manage to come to school the next day with no pencil at this point you better off keeping it in your locker but they don't even use that because they ain't got to put in there next you have the delinquent aka the first day suspender i don't know how they managed to do it but they dumb ass managed to get kicked out of school just as fast as they got there i can't even really say nothing though because i got suspended like the third day of school for fighting sophomore year but i ain't start to fight so other than that that does not include me at all but it's really not too much to say about it for real they most likely gonna end up getting suspended two three more times before the semester over depending on the person for real they might not even make it to the end of the school year without getting kicked out permanently up next you have the girl who glowed up during the summer you see this girl before summer vacation she look all right she's not bad looking but you wouldn't give her the time of day right she's a solid six 6.5 on a good day them two months though she was spending going to the gym spamming squats and leg day yeah! drinking her water eating her fruits and veggies getting sun and then when she come back she looking like a whole different person looking like a 3.14 to a straight dime she went from looking like Mia Khalifa with no makeup to mulatto ah! She went from looking like Bernie Mac to looking like Chloe Bailey. Oh yeah, Chloe, you not slick. Trying to do a cover to Gunner's hit song. As soon as he got locked up, you hit them boosters faster than Rod Wave had a trying to get into McDonald's if they was handing out free burgers for a day. Then he gets out and he popping again. She want to hit herself with the reverse Uno card and come back faster than Drake's dad with the milk after he found out his son's a Grammy Award winning artist. You should have been trying to hold him down when he was singing to the Fed, snitching on Young Thug. Now now you the one trying to do the singing. I'm gonna wanna back all of these birds. Watch me jump right off the guard. Then they spark fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. That shit is fucking trash. Don't get the f off the airway. You need to hit the drawing board and figure out what you're gonna do after that last album with triple garbage bag. At least a trash bag serves a purpose. It provides more of a service than her album did. But let me stop before the Illuminati kidnaps me and torture me with her music, which at that point, I'd rather them use MK Ultra and Mind Control. But she can't be a part of the Illuminati because isn't your career supposed to get better, not more trash? You know what? Maybe she ain't make the sacrifice yet. I'm not pointing any fingers or making any speculations, but DDG better watch out and i'm only saying you because you fuck with the other bailey girl and because they can't kill your music and youtube career so luminati and bruce already did that Damn. i'm joking ddg D don't don't make a diss song about me with your trash Damn. anyways that girl hit her glow up over the summer best believe she's gonna be way more arrogant and any dude that dubbed her before yeah don't try to f with her now because it's curtains you not pulling her at all after that you got the third year freshman this dude looks like he should have kids in school instead of being there himself he's taking third times to charm to the next level and i bet money he gonna try out for the basketball team oh God, only a freshman dunking on everybody else. Yeah, that's because he's 20 years old playing with a bunch of kids who just turned 15. You should be playing college basketball or drafting for the NBA, but nah, you playing bully ball against a bunch of preteens. Dude already got a mustache and a full beard with a credit score of 690. Next, you have the two best friends. Those, <coughs> okay, let me get some water before I die in this. Ugh. Ugh. 
That's busting. Those are the two class clowns that haven't seen each other all summer long. But as soon as they find out they got the same class together, it's raps. After the first day, the teacher gonna find out that they can't sit next to each other for the rest of the school year. They gonna take turns getting sent out of class and straight to the principal's office. They gonna give that teacher a headache every time they see them. They the ones that give those teachers nightmares and make them question whether or not they should get out of bed and go to work. I mean, that was basically me and my boy Akko. We had a few classes together and i promise we used to be the main ones getting sent out of class see there was this computer class and it was the last class of the day so every time the teacher would send us out to the principals she would never tell them that we were going up there and she never made sure we went up there so basically we skipped class and then go straight home when the last bell run you think i'm finna go up there and then get lunch detention nah 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 nah, nah. you got me up. All right, last on the list, but not least, you got Miss Goody Two Shoes. I don't mean that in a bad way, but best believe she will be captain of the debate team, head of the chess club, class president, and treasurer at the same time. She's the one always running errands for the teacher and helping out the office. They're almost like the teacher's pets, but less annoying. She's always happier smiling, but best believe if you piss her off one good time, she getting in her bag and cussing you smooth the fuck out. She goes from Demi Lovato to the loud lady from every single Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> that joke cracks me up. Get it? Cause Demi Lovato used to be a crackhead. <laughs> understand why she stayed yelling in every movie like you knew for a fact every time you seen this woman's face on the screen somebody was getting yelled at or cussed out yes sir we're back with the trifecta if you seen the title then you know exactly what we finna dive into different type of kids in school part three uh didn't you already make a part one and two? Oh, look who knows how numbers work yeah i did already but guess what i got bills to pay Y'all definitely f with part one and two, so why not run back another one? I'm not even gonna hold y'all that much longer. Let's get into it. All right, first we have the kid who's always coming to school, gone off the tree ski. <laughs> Early in the morning, this dude will walk into the school, making the hallway smell like Snoop Dogg's master bedroom. Now, mind you, school starts around seven something in the morning, and I barely had time to get ready or eat breakfast. So the fact that they even had time to get lit before school started is mind boggling. They walk into the classroom and they got Mr. Johnson's room smelling louder than your mom calling your name to come all the way downstairs to hand her the remote that's less than three feet away from her. You know what's even wilder? They rarely got in trouble for smelling like gas either. Their eyes will always be low and they stay with that goofy ass smile on their face. Don't even try to make conversation with them either because all they gonna do is look at you and laugh. Hey, bro, do you got the answers for last night's homework? Nah, bro, I forgot to do it too. <laughs> But let me make one smart remark to the teacher and boom, I got suspended for the next three days. But dude sitting next to me got a whole dispensary in his backpack and they damn near the teacher's favorite student. What kind of backwards ass is that? And you know what? The kid was probably the teacher's plug too. Hey, you got the stuff? All right, now get your ass out of here. I would need it too if I had to see them ugly ass kids seven times a day, five times a week talking crazy and smelling like a combination of Kaka and Wee Wiz. Wiz. Next, we got the tomboy slash skater chick. Now, these people people might be some of the chillest people you'll run into. They got the Chuck Taylors or the Vans with the straight cut Levi's, some type of black graphic shirt with a rock band on it, and they usually have long hair. Like I said, they probably the chillest people you'll ever meet. They'll let you copy off their paper. They might loan you some bread for the snack line. You can have a full-blown conversation with them about anything. You become friends with them and you set for the school year. There's one thing though. Have y'all ever seen a thick skater chick? No. Exactly. It's a rarity that you'll find a girl that skates with cake i only say it's a rarity because it's possible that they exist it's eight billion plus people on earth you might find one at the end of the rainbow with a pot of gold and a bowl of lucky charms all right that's enough of that sh Next, we got the super seniors. Yes, yeah, sir. These dudes be walking around thinking they run the place. But in the same sentence, they be walking around the halls with a freshman gripping their waist. <laughs> hey, turn that shit off. That is not something to be celebrating about. That, that shit was bars though go ahead turn the music back on some of them freshmen was about what 14 15 and you got these grown men risen up lisa who fresh out the eighth grade he trying to get that box hot and ready like he got a coupon on little caesar pizza pizza i mean for real y'all better watch out for them super seniors they never talk to girls they own age in high school and if they do it's a rarity i actually already used that word 
Them seniors are EDPs in the making. Everybody know that EDP is a PED. Next, we have the foreigners. See, the cool thing about school is if you go to the right one, you will have a lot of diversity roaming the hallways. People of different cultures and all shapes and sizes, but most of the time, they usually reside in their own little cliques. In middle school, there was this one dude I was cool with, and let's just call him Manny. And he had a thick accent, but he was funny as hell. Y'all remember in the types of sports video when I said that we used to arm wrestle at lunch? Yeah, now he was one of those people that you would never be. It, it's a, it's, it's a rarity. It's, it's a, what the f***? It's rare that you'll ever see him get beaten at all. He don't look that strong, but trust me, this dude had the sleeper build before the sleeper builds were even a thing. Every time dude will arm wrestle, you think he start losing? He pull out one of them little bags of carrots out of thin air like he got a GTA inventory and he start winning. I'm like, ain't no way carrots gave this nigga strength boost to his attributes dude walking around like the mexican papa no disrespect next we have the kids in the drama club now if you saw kids in drama club then most likely you saw the same people in choir how do i know because i was in choir in the seventh grade but it was called chorus and i never went to a single one of them damn singing competitions like i was in the class for easy a you not finna catch me talking about it's a hard not life for us yeah shut that sh the f down anyway those drama kids were annoying as hell i'm pretty sure that they were in drama to express themselves and let the creative juices flow which i'm pretty sure that's another way of saying let these n get all that adhd sh out of their system it's drama club not drama class for every class you got man if i ask you for a pencil don't go into character and don't give me some whole spiel like we're doing the school play I'm like hey Hey gang, you got a pencil I can borrow? Well, my good sir, you come into this fine establishment every day and you always fail to acquire the correct writing utensils you need in order to succeed at that task at hand. Furthermore, when I proceeded to loan out said tools needed for the job, I somehow never received my belongings back, from which I gave to you. My nigga, do you got a fucking pencil I can borrow or not? They always quoting Shakespeare or something. I don't know. I applaud you for your enthusiasm, but keep your enthusiastic ass over that way. Next, we have the annoying YouTuber. Now, when I was in school, we ain't have too many people really doing YouTube, if any at all. But nowadays, you got the YouTubers that's always going around school, doing school interviews, asking the weirdest questions. So they go messing with the people who obviously ain't trying to be in the video. If I'm having a bad day and someone has a camera in my face and they ask me goofy questions i'm gonna hit them with a smooth I got it. but on the flip side some of those videos are actually funny when they doing it right plus i kind of wish i started doing youtube earlier while i was in high school but i really didn't know what i wanted to do at the time so in hindsight i guess everything really worked out honestly these days though everything is ran by social media so it's better for them to get it in now while they don't really have to worry about bills or finances it's gonna help you out in the long run next up you have the freshman thought now this one is a doozy because i might catch the freshman with the super senior or you might catch her doing her thug dizzle in the boys locker room <laughs> I don't know why, but it's like when they get to high school, they don't know how to act. They say bump the curriculum. They trying to have a whole daycare going on in their facial structure. Matter of fact, they put the facial in facial structure. Now, when I was their age, I was trying to figure out my way around high school. Meanwhile, they're trying to figure out their way around a Hillshire farm, be frank. Go! And for some reason, they usually have straight A's, but I can't put my finger on why. It's like it's on the tip of my tongue. Actually, probably on the tip of their tongue, but it's none of my business. All right, next, we got the sleeper. Now, this guy, he comes to school and sleep for damn near the whole day, which I don't know why, because those chairs are probably the most uncomfortable place to sit, let alone lay on. But it don't stop them anyway. They sleep through the entire class just to wake up and go to their next class and then be slumped again. Then when it's time for test day he gonna be the first one to talk about hold up we ain't learned this in class yeah we did yo dumb this was just sleep for the last two weeks they gonna lean over and be like hey hey what's the answer for number six uh teacher he over here cheating yeah go, go ahead and knock his so y'all better start getting some sleep at home or y'all gonna end up sleeping through the whole school year and then you gonna be in summer school last on the list is the kid who actually enjoys school lunch you nasty bitch I don't know if some students don't eat at home, and if that's the case, it's understandable and this don't apply to you. But if you do eat at home and you still enjoy eating the food, you sick enough.
Yeah. See, how food tastes at school is subjective because it all depends on if your school serves good food. And 70% of the time, that ain't even the case. But there are people who literally come to school and look forward to eating the lunch. Alright, but I uh, appreciate y'all staying to the end of the video. Uh, yeah. Um, I ain't been as consistent as I want to be, but it's, it's a lot going on. Um, I ain't gonna give y'all a whole spiel. Hey, man, we on the road to... 50k then we on the road to 100k y'all already know what the to do man appreciate y'all staying to the end i'll see y'all mother next time gang i go and i have that xq xq and i put a price in your head and then i'ma go go to my niggas a ratio i hate with the murders and killers and robbers i make sure they take off your face to the yeah. all of my niggas i swear we get village you don't want no smoke like no k2 all of my diamonds is like around water you know that they just like some taste